name is Joyce Dawkins. I'm with the Academy Charter Middle School, which is at 159 North Franklin Street. I'm a sixth grade teacher teaching math. I, one of my main things is that all students can learn. I truly believe that students will learn as long as they have the right tools and the teachers who believe in them. And so whatever it is that I have to do to make that happen, I always try to do that on a daily basis. Whether it's doing group work, um, sitting with students one-on-one, -on -one, or just hearing from them what it is that they're struggling with and help them in that way. The academy being in this community will sort of help students to move from whatever level they're at to a better level. I always tell them that they should try to do to do better than their parents. And I think the academy is helping students to do that. Wherever, whatever their situation is, I feel that having gone through the academy and everything that it offers will help students to move from one level to the next. Hello, my name is Dr. Kim Spivey Hunter, and I'm the Director of Student Support Services for the Hempstead Academy Charter School, and I cover grades K through 12 in our buildings. And what student support services look like is that we have students struggling with learning disabilities or just social disabilities, and that's where we come in and we provide support. And I say we because I don't do it alone. It's a collaborative effort between myself, the school leaders, the teachers, the counselors. We really put our heads together to support the family to make sure that the students receive a quality education, one that they can grow from. And so that's my role here at the Academy. We work together. We bring in everyone's thoughts, ideas. We speak with family members and just the more that we work together, the more that people learn to lean from one another. So generally, I see people become frustrated when they think they have to do something alone. And that's just not the case. We can work collaboratively and get the job done. And that's what I encourage people to do. And I model it by just doing it. And I know I can't get things done without the help of everyone else. So that's just what I do. I support each building. I visit the buildings. I speak with the leaders. I speak with the teachers. I speak to the students. and. You just create a relationship with people. You know, when you have a disability, sometimes it's difficult for you to acknowledge it as a student or for your parents to accept it, and there's a lot of pushback. And so there's a lot of meetings, a lot of discussions taking place. There's legal paperwork that we have to file, and, and we work with several different school districts. So the, even though the students attend the Academy Charter School, they are from different school districts, from Hempstead to Brentwood and everything in between. So we collaborate. And so my schedule is very busy working with all these different people, but you never stop to help. And you can't not stop and help people. You know, and if you see someone with a need, you just jump in. And how I do it, I'm, I honestly can't tell you how I do it. I just, if I see a need and if I think I can help, I try my best to help. And if not, again, I pass it on to someone else. If I can't solve a problem in the high school building, I'll call Mr. Holloway or I'll call one of the counselors. The elementary school buildings, I'll speak with the principals, again, the teachers, the students themselves. Sometimes students give you wonderful ideas that you wouldn't think of. Children have those things in mind. And so the same thing at the middle school building, you know, I'll, with Mr. Peterkin and his team and Ms. Graham and her team at the upper elementary school. I just, I, I talk to people and we sing. You know, every place I go is, oh, happy day. So we start off with, you know what, let's just keep this light. And that's how I do it.